What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Stan here. I want to welcome you guys back to NBA 2K20, my career. We're moving on. Going up against the Suns now. We are just finishing the way down. We've completed 69 games. We're on game number 70 now. So almost finished uh, the uh, regular season. And we're going to be back and starting the playoffs. So that's going to be interesting as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's jump in. And the starting lineups have concluded. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. As I'm coming out, they're like, they concluded them. Thanks for joining that's, us for this that's Friday night edition of the NBA. DA, it's all yours. I'm ready to roll. Great, DA. Thanks. Thanks, DA. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Leonard. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing for them offensively. The, the points just have it. To be honest, for him like it's because of me. Months back, the defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustment. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Rubio and Booker. They're the backcourt. Check the out. Right, here we go. There with DeAndre. I almost thought we had the ball for a minute. In at the three. And for Los Angeles. Ricky Rubicon. The two stars. George and Leonard fill up the forward slots. Then there's Harold. Then it's Williams. And it's Quinn in at the point. What great athleticism with both I'm these there. teams. I Didn't mean, matter. every move is so graceful, so skilled. I mean, majestic. It is, Kevin. There's an explosiveness. There's this speed that is absolutely incredible to yep. watch. Every possession up and down the floor could have the potential. I love having the full stamina real. because you can do so much. Balls not Stripped loose. it. Oh, why'd you do that? Oh, what an imposition. Nice. Hammers the alley oop through. Incredible wingspan, unbelievable hands. The alley oop is easy. That was beautiful. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. About one minute into the first quarter. The pass to Diallo. Over Williams. Here's Ayton. One up, one down. Ooh. Two points with his first shot this game. What a fantastic offensive rebounder. Aiton so good at using his... No one in the paint. Advantages. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Suns have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Rubio, the pass to Diallo. Stripped it. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Bob pass to George. Nice. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Well, that's about timing and precision and knowing for Paul Gotta love George, these lobs, man. They're that beautiful. Leaping ability to get that alley -oop. Pass to Diallo. And the foul called on Kawhi oh. Leonard. That is his first foul of the game. Sagging off of Rubio. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Rubio with it. George picks him up. Oop, oh, don't it. switch me. That's rude. No good okay, he breaks it. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just Come on, Lou. It. Oh, that was way too long. A shot by Williams, no good. Ooh, couldn't quite get that one. Four for five. Down low. Here's Ayton. Good defense. Second shot opportunity. That one's not going to go. It. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They went to Phoenix for their last meeting with the Suns and came out with a win. And in the last face-off against these guys, they enjoyed a. I don't know why he would go towards Booker. In free throw percent. Suns trail by four. Here's Booker. And Booker. Oh, what a block! And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Got to pass to somebody, bro. Almost an inbound violation. Booker against Williams. Booker outside. Just five on the clock. Nailed from three-point land. Well, this is Devin Booker's specialty. Consistent at finding all kinds of ways to score from beyond that arc. Oh, man. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. The 11 footer, yep. Quinn, good. Buttery. Quinn's got six points. Rubio with it. What a tremendous game he played against Minnesota. Passes it to Diallo. Knocked away. There you go. Leonard with the steal. 
And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. That's ball. deep. Man, but I got that shot. Green. Nine points in the game so far. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Those are the kind of deep threes I got to do. That's the Diallo. Back to Booker. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Lou Williams. He'll make both that of them. That seems to be the word most applied to Booker. Able to get the defense to overreact. Okay, skip. I get it. Now they're letting him do the whole thing. I'm trying to skip this. Come on. Jesus. Both free throws good from Booker. Doris, what has impressed me about Booker is that he's put up great numbers despite not having a lot of franchise stability at the start of his career. No doubt, Kevin. For Devin Booker, oh, that's easy. Seasons, he had nice little windy right there. Coaches. That doesn't even start to touch the roster turnover he's dealt with. Through everything he's faced, he has produced on the offensive end. You love this guy's Oh, I, la I didn't. My angle was rough. Oh, you have to appreciate Rubio's creativity. Floats that one in. Clippers leading by four. Williams kicks to Quinn. It's oh. the yellow. Well, certainly not the best defensive. Effort, I hate the bounce. I can't make them pay for their laziness. Now, here's Rubio. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Here's Booker. That's in. He's nice got move. two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Well, a guard has got to come with physical intensity on the interior. And Devin Booker does oh, what a play. That. Nice. Gets the bucket. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against the Denver Nuggets. Come on. Booker looking around. Lock at six. And the pass to Diallo. That's going to be a chuck yep, up. That one goes Ooh. in there. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Outside Williams. Pass it, pass it, pass it. Here's Quinn. Thank God, I just need him in his face. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. The timeout call, the Suns. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all picking sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games. I was there, the Kadi. of a long contest really starts to add up. Catching up on the... Oh, that was nice, bro. <laughs> George will force you to stay balanced defensively because if you have a miss, man, that was money. Find the open guy. Johnson, the pass to Sharich. They double him with Green. And Sharich kicks to Bridges. Pass to Booker. Let's go. That's easy. Green with the rebound. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't. Ball George popping. Ah. Shot by George, no good. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against the Nuggets in Denver. Ooh, tried to get a hand on it. Johnson up top, covered by Quinn. Johnson dishes to Booker. And the oh, he's all over him. Zubas. Nice steal, go. Oh, here we go with George. Nobody back. Nice. Now, Paul George is an exceptional athlete and demonstrating his insane dunking skills there. Get this guy in the dunk competition. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Booker. Green with the Get out of here. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter boy. And one? Not enough. It has to be a perfect down. release if you're gonna sink it. Right Los Angeles shot. shooting their first Five. shot from the stripe in this Elbow. game. Two. Two shots. First free throw is good. 
A lot of competitors in this league. Try and get that takeover. That way to play at this level. I know you have a list of competitors that you admire a lot. It's those guys, Kevin, who have that insatiable desire to win. The guys who absolutely despise losing, who it almost hurts. It's painful physically. Giannis Antetokounmpo oh, got it. is driven to be great. He wants an NBA championship. LeBron James has got Look at that. I managed to get by him. I was hoping someone would run it, but they what didn't. What I love about great NBA players, it's never enough, Kevin. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Phoenix. A 12-point game. And the Suns call time. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Making free throws a big key for any team. Let's see the best in the NBA. The Clippers, number one. The Suns, fifth. Both teams really well served to be very aggressive attacking the rim because of how well they shoot. Oh, get the it, get it, get it. Ah, oh, come on. Johnson with it. He's nice. covered by Quinn. And they're pushing it up. Trips down. Why the not? There's a bit of a hang there. Yeah. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening I like it. tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Here's Johnson. The Clippers get in the bucket. Suns moving the ball around. My fault. Carries it from three point range. I left him. This guy so I was just trying to be super aggressive game. because Tyler I was uh Johnson has tremendous lift on uh, the floor. He's going to get a good look. Kaminsky with the double team. Two free throws oh, coming foul. up and they call the shooting foul. I don't know what the hell uh, Zubats is getting so excited about. For Booker, averaging around 26 points per five assists and three rebounds. He's got a kind of a snap and release. So you can kind of figure out how to perfect might it. Not even do his game justice. He's he's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch. Stripped it. Someone Gonna get it. Players look up to. Here's Quinn. Yeah. Hits it from three point range. That's murder. Quinn's got 24 points. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Now here's Johnson. He's covered by Quinn. Kaminsky, the pass to Johnson. I'm there, though. Another three he still Phoenix. made it. Wow. wow. How about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Here's Quinn. He's coming off an nice. Simple double clutch. Scoring game. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. So it's oh, I thought I got him there. After the Clippers pick up two. Johnson. Sorry. The rejection by Zubats. Here's Beverly. Uses the glass. Nice pass. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Oh, you got to time it just right. Didn't get it. Johnson outside. Well, there's Johnson going. Pass to Sharich. A shot. No good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. Oh, that worked out. <laughs> from range, away from home, much easier said than done. They played a terrific ball game. And I think it was clear, Greg, that their plan was to attack from the three-point line, and it worked to perfection. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. He's hard to strip from. Here's Booker. Talking about that win against the Timberwolves, uh, oh. was definitely a major factor as well. And Beverly kicks to Quinn. Maybe. And the Clippers yep. getting Was that a three? Right there. They had been excellent. So wow. I don't even know what that was. I just popped it. No doubt. It's probably a two. Offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a I love that mean look. And so it's Los Angeles with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with Finn. I don't really limit myself to one position. And with all the switching we see teams Greg employing right now, that defensive versatility Still is Still got a bit of takeover left, not much. And Johnson, an excellent athlete. He He's got the tools to impact the game. I could have dunked it. I probably should have dunked it, like lobbed it. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. 
Guys, we've seen a competent-looking Clippers team out there. Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. I'll tell you, that willingness to make the extra pass, that is what creates good looks. It also forces the All right, we're out. to scramble. On the court right now, second too quarter starts for big. the Suns. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Aaron Baines Let's see if we can get it back. And it's Play the second quarter. The one. You talk about bangers in the NBA, Doris, the Australian. Aaron Baines, rugged as they come. Kevy is the very definition of an energy guy. Oh, come this on, man. man. He's a great defender. You get blind. Oh, I'm nowhere near Tyler. Picks, you are going to feel it the next day. Good defense, though. Clippers leading by 21. No one's with me. Oh, oh my goodness gracious me. It with authority. Here he comes. Look at the air. He goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Let's it go from deep. The shot off that time. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. Shamit the pass to Quinn. Oh, Good quick release. It goes. Quinn's got 32 points. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Bridges, Bridges passes to Kaminsky. A lot of D, but he still sinks it. Kaminsky's got his first bucket of the night. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Feeds to Quinn. Oh! And it is Tons of dunks tonight, but I, I'm making a lot of dunks, but I need jumpers. Tell you what, you've got to build a wall. Working on that badge. To keep this man from attacking. And break even then, he might just go over it. Check out the elevation <laughs> he gets here. My goodness. Johnson kicks to Booker. Quick release. Off target no with dice. his three. Boy, he hasn't found the range yet here in the second period. Only one triple for him tonight. Oh, what a pass. Slams it in. Beautiful timing. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass. So important. What are you thinking? There's Shamit. And the nice. I wasn't sure how that was going to play, but got his they didn't think I was going to pass it that early. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint. Oh, I got a hand on it. Oh, I got it again. Having another steal. The steals just don't end with him, and, and now he has a good I already know. at the season record. The instincts, the tenacity he I lead the NBA the steals per game. Oh, I must be getting close to that. I should look at that number. And every steal gets him closer to the top spot, sits at 301, and it isn't unthinkable that he could get there this season. 301 is five. the record. Here's Johnson. Look at that defense. Good again that time. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been <gasps> off the charts. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> right now, that lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Oh, I'm on him, but he used he was smart there. A fearless competitor, 190 pounds of Tyler Johnson, more than willing to take the hit. Oh, watch that over and back. Here's Quinn. He's guarded by Johnson. Sorry, sorry. Can't get by him. Shamit the pass to Quinn. Out of bounds, Phoenix. Oh man, possession. my fault. Just like that, I waste here. it. I'm tired though, man. Phoenix has gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown to the right side. And here is Aiton. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Rubio in the corner. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. Ice ball movement by Phoenix. Oh, that's deep. No way. Sinks it. What oh, my God. Outside. You're kidding. Wow. Seven points in the game. I'll tell you, this offense looks completely.
completely different and so much better spacing when Rubio can be a legitimate Where you at? from range. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Phoenix has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Oh, I thought I had it. I got it. Shooting. Oh, that was another Fine steal. Rubio. Back to Baines. That's annoying, man. Pass to Oubre. Here's Bridges. Six on the shot clock. Oubre passes to Bridges. No way. Here's Hayton. Plays it up and in. I tried. Nice reverse. Well, the big man flashing his touch. DeAndre Ayton makes it look easy. Here's Quinn. And the layup. Look at that finish. Ball. Quinn's got 40 points. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Oubre outside. I really want those steals. I'm going to have to hustle to do it. He kicks to Rubio. Fires at the elbow. Another yeah, one he had falls space. for Phoenix. Ricky Rubio makes great use of the mid-range. This is right in his comfort zone. Pass to Harold. It's deflected. Ah, oh, no dice. Now Ubre. No points in the game yet for him. The feed to Aiton. Oh, come on. You're telling me I... That's my first foul, though. Anyway, I needed this break. There's still a lot of time. I'm going to check... I got to check the steals situation. Book around side. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. The Clippers on top. Anyway, we're going to get that next badge. I have that feeling, man. Which is going to be... Uh, but I actually, I haven't been getting too many in the and there wasn't too jump much shots. It's been all like... Half, but maybe things will tighten all up the here paint the scoring. It's been a clinic so far from Quinn. What a menace he was on defense through the first two quarters. Just disrupting everything. Well, it was about effort and anticipation. Hard to get into an offensive rhythm when you know this guy is lurking. Yeah. With four Go with those. Why not? Then it's Paul George. Then it's Williams. And it's Quinn in at the point guard position. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Passes it to Aiton. Pope Stripped loose. it. And that's ah. Phoenix will retain possession. That would have been another steal. Well, you look at the Suns going forward. They have got to believe a big part of the puzzle is DeAndre Aiton. This guy was the number one overall pick in last year's draft. Rebounded by oh, that's Quinn. my board. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor Pass. in attracting this huge lead. Shot from 12. And the that's a tough shot. Wow. Bucket right there. Doris Aiton, a terrific rebounder. He can score in the paint. And, of course, he is still improving. Yeah, what you like Stripped it. Oh, Aiden can't get the ball, yeah, though. He doesn't just rely I hate on that they... given talent. This guy knows he needs to be more consistent with the jumper, improve his overall defensive awareness, but this guy is willing to put in the work to become a player. There you go. Get more jumpers. Player. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Rubio dishes to Oubre. Trying to get these steals. Booker outside. Just five oh two. my god. The, the fact the that target. they managed to hold on to that Booker's was crazy. His third bucket Booker's of the night. beasted. Well, just such a crafty offensive talent. Devin Booker working the mid-range. What doesn't he do? Yeah. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten. Come on, baby. I want that steal. Rubio outside. Rubio's pissing me off here. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That'll be his He's like, I'll get it for you. I'm like, game. no, that's not the point. Two minutes into the second half of play now. 
Here's Booker. Another one falls for Phoenix. Lightning quick release on that jumper. No one could get to Booker in time. Here's Quinn. And That's not good. That was rubbish. I thought I had a minute, but... Only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here Oh, nice. Authority. Here's George. Oh, Finish look at Paul George. George has got eight. The assist totals... You know what's crazy? Is it still the third quarter? They're way ahead in that category. Ball get his... movement has been flawless. Oh, I got stuck in a massive screen. Let's a floater go. Easy money. No good from Booker. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. On the wing, Williams. Popping it, three, money. Hands it from downtown. Nine points in the game so far. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the fire. God, so annoying. I can't get it from Rubicon. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You, you got me. in on the moment and play the right way. Well, See, you can play me like that because I'm so short. Spot, but right now, this guy is cooking. Here's Quinn. Another and one. Wow. And as he continues to fill it up, guys, he's nearing first place all time for points in a season. Yep, his story. What is that? GA. He's put them on his back all season long. And Wilt Chamberlain scoring 4,029 points back in 1962. A whole different era, to be sure, but to surpass that now would be almost inconceivable. And the Suns call time. It's doable. Doris, you played. You've I mean, if I average. Broadcast. You've done it all in this business. I don't even uh, know. How did you like to be coached when you were a player at the very top of your game? Yeah, I think one of my favorite things were coaches who challenged me. Those who would not allow me to accept the level I was currently at. Those who wanted to push me and extend and expand my game. Listen, every player wants to be respected. Every player wants to feel valued. But I'm the there. I don't think so. Me, the LeBron James, the Kevin Durant, they want to be coached hard. They want you to push them to the greatest possible level they're capable of. That's great insight. Oh, he had good D on me. From Aiton. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with Look at that defense. Didn't got matter. A tremendous job defensively. Well, as soon as you recognize a size mismatch, you have to attack. There's the pass to Harold. Here's Quinn. Pop it. Inside the oh, line. that is Gets dirty. The corner and buries it. Green's got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. And I think they count on him for that, Greg. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. Here's Booker. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Let's run it. Got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Oh, Shams. And he bangs it nice. with one hand. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. The Suns have gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Rubio, the pass to Aiton. I want that ball. Here's Oubre. Connects from three-point range. Oubre has got five. Well, DeAndre Ayton is a team first guy, and boy, does he set up the open man. Yep. Good. I have that range. Wow. Unconscious has he been this quarter. Utilize They're the badges if you can. End. The Suns have gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. They double him with Green. Baines passes to Rubio. Oh, and man. Two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. There's I'm just trying to get to those steals. This is one of the most I'm about to check the list because sometimes not knowing about it, though, stay healthy helps me not, like, actually Phoenix helps me get it, you changes. know. Kaminsky is checked in for eight, and Mikael Bridges subbed in for Oubre. Kevin Gelly oh, what was that, bro? Oh! Phoenix takes Are you possession. sure it looked like you saved it? And here's a look at some numbers for him. And, guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. And Rubio kicks to Booker. Pass to Baines. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Here's Rubio. I'm there. He drops the layup off the glass. He's got 13. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Passes to Cabin Gill. Oh, Cabs. Ah. Offline with his three. 
And it's Rubio with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Kicks to Bridges. Back to Rubio. Pass to Booker. Down to five on the shot clock. Try to get in there. And it's Kevin Gelly with the rebound. Kevin Gelly's got five rebounds tonight. Shoots from the corner. That's a two, though. Quinn's got 56 points in the game. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. It, They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And Los Angeles with some changes. Zubats is checked in for Jermichael Green. Harkless comes in for George. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Landry Shamit. And for the Suns, Sharch has checked in for Aaron Baines. And it's Johnson in for Ricky Rubio. Doris, you can't say enough about the defense of Paul George. Oh, oh come on, terrific. game. You're going to punish me for that? that is in addition to being God, they just, they really suck, the team takeover performer. thing. So you think you about know, what Paul George you do brings one on little thing that end. looks good. The on-ball defense is incredible. He knows so when frustrating. to help off on drives. This guy is easily one of the best defenders. And then you can just get in that way. not the best. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Stripped it. Got it. Here's Quinn. Oh, that's not and good. He overshot that one, missing. Phoenix has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Bit of a mismatch here. Pass to Kaminsky. From ten feet out. He's just got to use his height. That's all he had to do. More. I got five steals in this game. I didn't realize Los I had so Angeles many. Has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Man. And it's Kevin Gelly missing. And that is a textbook example of my timing. I'm just mashing it at this point, rim. just trying to get another one. Boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Win. Wow. It's hauled in by the Suns. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Get that ball. By Zubats. Now the Clippers moving it up. Here's the floater. Pass Quinn it back. Better shot. Beyond the arc. Oh, come George on, man. The board. Phoenix has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Uh, uh, and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And not a season, Doris, that pops off the stanchion, but a strong rookie campaign for Mikel Bridges. You simply can't ignore the defense he brings for this team. Very refined for his experience level. Teams would love to see him grow into a third option on the offensive end with this roster. Nice Let's pass. See that happens. Marie's checked in for the Clippers. I still have a quarter to play. I mean, obviously, I won't be in the whole game. But... Uncontested shots at the rim. No wonder you're losing. Uh, Greg, if only me, we had that takeover, it would have been a completely different a complete story. Lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. I'm getting a little aggressive with my reaches. Murray against Bridges. The pass to Johnson. Four on the shot clock. Goes up the baseline. The shot, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the uh, team I'm too tired. is struggling because he's struggling. The Sun's shooting for the game at 42%. Oh, I'm nowhere near him. Someone do something he for me. It to Kaminsky. Oh, and the rejection by Zubats. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Yeah. And another one. 6-0. I just beat it. Whoa. The impossible. A new what? record for points in a season. Incredible. Wow. With that twofer. I didn't think they were talking. They were like he was approaching it. I didn't know we'd get it. stood for decades until now. And his magical season. And I still have a bunch of time left. Crowd now showing their appreciation. Gee, his wow. Consistency night after night performing at this level. The fans Something just erupted. I'm glad we're at home. You have to appreciate the toll this season has taken on him. He has shouldered the load offensively. And it's a rookie season. He's level. breaking records. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Maurice Harkins. And the Suns making a change here as well. How did they get to hold on to the, the ball? Owls checked in. Phoenix, no good that time either. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A nice. He has there you go. That's 15. 
quick job of getting up the floor and creating. Wait, do I not have that anymore? Offense. Oh, that must have been the beats one, the, the 15 assists. Chance to set up. Sometimes must have been a beats thing. Because I, yeah, I didn't get any points right for getting it or bonuses. That's five from 18, and there's Sharp. Sharp. On the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Quinn. And Why not a little bit more? <laughs> That's 62 points, 62. Amazing. No dice. A remarkable performance from him so far. And so it's the Los Angeles. That was awesome, dude. Holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up. And they no, they no, they no, they no. turnovers with that terrific D. And we'll be right back after this. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Is and it a lob? Did I give it a, any lobs? Right here. I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, this is exactly what you're looking there's, for. There's a lob at least point. once a game. Swap here. Yeah, my bottles. These bottles are lonely. It's such an honor to be on this with you. And, and you were the first female to become a full-time NBA analyst. Uh, you're breaking new ground. You've accomplished so much in your life. Still a lot of time. I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to go look at the uh, steals record, too, and see how far I am from that. Looking to get ahead in their career and what you've chosen. Well, first and foremost, I've been very lucky, Kevin. The game of basketball has been a part of my life yep. since I was seven. It's been a driving force. I love it. I would just tell young women, times are changing. Um, Dream big. There's nothing that's impossible. And I'm so oh, thankful time to the right. NBA players and coaches who have just wrapped their arms around me from the time I entered uh, this business. So kudos to those players who are part of the change, no question. And hard work. I have seen you work. I have seen you prepare. No one prepares more. No one works harder than you. Thanks, Kev. On the court for the Suns. Oh, I got blocked. Rubio and Booker. They're the backcourt. Oh, that's right, Timmy. Oh, that's filthy. I get it right back, though. Ha. the center. They are trying to close this out strong, and he's the man. Oh, I almost got it. This position. Now, here's Rubio. He's not really protecting it that much. Oh, they didn't like that. That was my bad. It is a very fluid topic. I got a few fouls to give, so I figured I'd try and reach a little bit. Where do you stand? I'll tell you the truth, Kevin. I, I'm conflicted about this because I believe there is real value to the college That was a breakdown. Experience. There's high-level coaching across the game at the collegiate level. Uh, but I also believe that young men who have talent should be able to, when they are eligible, decide when they want to become professionals. So... Listen, I'm sort of in the middle. There are legitimate arguments to be had for both sides. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I, hope I was trying to pump fake. It wasn't working. Best players in the league, and that's certainly going to happen whenever it happens. Bridges. And that'll be Judging from the fact that they mentioned the steal record, the I must be approaching it. Like, it must be getting and close. And the first one goes. And Los Angeles. Like, really Angeles. close. Marie's checked in for Green. And Roddy Magruder's subbed in for Landry Shamit. And then for Phoenix, Johnson, he's checked in for Diallo. And it's Carter in for Ricky Rubio. Oh, nice there. Getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. Here's Jerome. Oh, sometimes you can get a sprint and, like, it'll help your... Stripped it, grab it. Swipes the ball away again. His march towards history continues with that steal. Ooh, fouled hard. Give me them MVP the chance. I'm tied. You can't begin to describe his one more steal and I pass it. And we know just how big steal number 301 is. Ties him for the most ever in a three. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. Look at the time on the clock. His defensive I tied at 301, and it's three minutes one seconds when I when it happened. Well, basically, that's wild. All free throws good from Quinn. Of course, it seems like Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, is one of the most well-liked commissioners in all of sports. Trying to get that steal. Why do you think that's so? Well, I think he was. Do you think we can do it this game? Worst case, it'll just be in the next members game. Members of the staff of his predecessor, David Stern, who obviously oversaw the greatest growth in NBA history, the NBA oh, come on, baby. global game. But Adam Silver didn't skip a beat. He is a great listener, a great communicator. And I've said this about the NBA for a very long time. Nice block. It is a league that is in constant self-evaluation process. It is always I've got like, what, eight steals? Seven steals the league, Whether today. that means organizationally or with the play between the lines. And that's all you can ask for, Kevin. 
Carter outside. I'm leaving my man. Clock is at three. Oh, I got a foul out of that. And of course I did. On the shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. Doris, we've both been very public in our admiration for LeBron, the face of the league, for so many years. When he retires, and we're, we're approaching that date, who do you think might step up and and take his place as the face of the NBA? Oh. Nice. As I shut them up for a minute. Oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. Phoenix has gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Here's Johnson. It's blocked. That's a board for me, too. Here's Quinn. And one. Bucket is good. And MVP chance, chance are coming. To make it a three-point play. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. That free throw Beautiful. Good from 75 and 15. Well, Phoenix shooting in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. Here's Jerome. Pulled the shot a little bit. Trying to get that last bounce. steal. Do you think Goes I can do it? Way. Boy, that's as wide open as you're going to get. The defense needs to lock in and be better than that. 136 left in the fourth quarter. Clippers moving the ball around. Here's come Quinn. on. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Yes, that was a three. This one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the. Oh, I left him. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest. I don't have takeover. Yeah, I thought I did. Uh, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. There you go. Another assist. On the other side. One that I think most will try to forget. And I think, guys, we sort of expected a win here in a, a season already with 66 wins. Tonight's win will notch that up. One ah. 67. A very dominating right, presence they seem to have nearly every time they come out on the floor. And they cap off the season series with one more win. Usually it's when you beat a record, they call timeout. Four straight. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Hiring college basketball coaches has been kind of hit or miss, Doris. Why do you think that's so? Well, obviously, coaching in college and coaching in the NBA are drastically different things. As a college coach, you've got to be yeah. concerned about the eligibility 80 points. of your young men. You've got to be recruiting the next crop, even while you're coaching your current group and your current roster. In the uh. NBA, you get to focus exclusively on coaching. You're not talking about recruiting. Uh, you're not having to deal with anything other than grown men. It doesn't matter, uh, who though. Have a desire for greatness in the NBA. And I think he so much, it doesn't necessarily mean success or failure, whether you come from college or not. Yeah. Success in the NBA is a oh my goodness. proposition. So I don't necessarily define it as, oh, this guy came from college. This guy came from the European leagues. This guy has been an NBA assistant. So many things go into it, Kevin. Pass to Johnson for three, and it's the Clippers with the rebound. Oh, the call on the shot going back to the line. the line. Chance should start. Money there you go. <laughs> Such a good feeling. First one falls. Let's kind of drink it in. All three throws good money. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson outside. Oh, I'm gone. All right. We'll save it for the next game then. Save it for the next game. That's funny. Lou's just sitting there. I mean, that's a lot of steals, bro. 150. Six seconds left to play here on the fourth. 
So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. Nope. And boy, they really put They're going to ask me about that record. Effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge. Sorry, David. Do you think that'll be enough to put me in the next shooting badge? I think so. 100%. And I'm, I think I might do the quick release. Again, just max that up and get it into the... Uh, get it into the Hall of Fame range. For quick draw. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Shay, congratulations. You broke Will Chamberlain's mark for most points in the season. How proud are you of achieving that? Hey, this is honestly the greatest moment of my life, man. This whole season has been special. Never did I, I never did I imagine that I'd be chasing down Will's record. This is crazy, man. It, it, it's a dream come true. Yeah, nobody thought one of those records would go like this, but you did it. So congratulations. And to I'm about you. to approach the, the Steels record too. David, thank you as always. Here's my thing with instant replay. We've had it for a while. I love how they had they like film. They got something in there at every time, though, just in case. All right, well, let's go to the progression first things first. I'm a realist. And let's get that next badge. We're at 19. So there's only two more after this. Two more. So quick, it's going to be Twick Draw Hall of Fame. That's going to be worth it. And then I think we're going to do Dead Eye Hall of Fame and Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame. And if I want to do something else, then I'll do something else. But I honestly think that's going to be money. Even though I probably don't need it, to be honest. But still. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe it makes more sense to go for... Uh, these two get this to a gold boost shot percentage is attempts to cruise so they get better and better Every time you shoot so that would be pretty good, too I never even thought of that. Do I really need it? I can always mess around with it, too Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be it for this video I hope you all enjoyed it if you did do me a favor hit that like button Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you haven't yet be sure to like and follow my pages on social media facebook.com slash danq8000 twitter at danq8000 and Snapchat, Instagram, Danq8000, and Snapchat, Danq8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or a hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% off your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code Danq8000 to check out. Finally, guys, if you want to go ahead and sign up and become a Danq8000 member, there's a link in the description. Also, a big join button right below this video. For that, you get yourself a exclusive badge by your name, emojis to use in the chat, and, of course, the monthly game giveaway draw that you're entered into automatically. It's a great way to support the page, and, of course, you get those cool perks as well. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take care. Have a great day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. So I'm back, yeah, give me that bow in your lane like a trap train. Give me that ah. Hell nah, they ain't running like this. I'm a marathon, bitch. Man, the errors line act like a rock. We ain't moving. You know me, been chilling at the top. This the type of feel you only feel it when you hide. NBA 2K on the dot. Drop it.